Right, I've annoyed uh, Reboot the Matrix. All I can say is relax. Um, I didn't quite say uh, everybody in Ireland is of Jewish um, origin. Um, just a large percentage and definitely um, in the south and it would explain the red hair. It would. Because, alright, you've got here, uh, during the Spanish Inquisition, uh, 1478 all those with red hair were associated as Phoenician and we know the Phoenicians are the tribe the people living in Israel right now the Zionists um, this little thing here says red hair but look at the shape of it does that remind you of anything it's the Kabbalah tree of life so it's their red hair Curious. I thought I'd, I'd mention it because I just noticed it. Um, Star of David. David was with had um, fiery red hair. They thought he was golden hair. No, no. David and Esau had fiery red hair. Phoenician red hair is an Edomite trait. Red hair has all, always had vill villainous Phoenician perceptions through Kronos. Um, now, you're back to the Cosa Nostra, right? The Mafia. The Freemasonry is another Mafia. Okay. Now, this link with Ireland. Now, let's let's try and get to it, right? What we got? We got... Um, this is an article called The Phoenicians in West Europe from Canaan, Middle East, to Cornwall and Cork. Well, Cork is in Southern Ireland, and so is Dublin and Dublin is what I said reboot, reboot the matrix I said that recently one of my friends who is from Dublin went back to Dublin and one of his friends just randomly said to him oh by the way did you know that Ireland was spawned by the tribe now there's a large amount of stuff that that suggests it it doesn't mean that it's a huge proportion but of all the people i'm coming across recently who are irish i'm coming across greens turners and of course there are brodies and bradies and um pens but pen is even though sean penn is of, of irish jewish um origin obviously um pen is a russian jewish name that they the phoenicians really got about those phoenician merchants right they they're the merchant bankers right the phoenician merchants the merchant bankers the merchants of, of venice the the um merchant tailors the tailoring haberdashery and all that so okay let's go and look around the history of the red-haired race phoenicians right Um, this is a web a, a forum where somebody asked, um, what do they ask? Who brought red hair to Ireland? Well, you see, they're, they're, they're assuming in the first place that, that Ireland is not the origin of red hair. It's not. It's, it's the Middle East. It's the tribe. It's, it's the Phoenician merchants who are, are redheads. And I'll get to that in a second and an illustration of the american stereotype of irish people was that of individuals who had red or light colored hair with light eyes and fair skin those who had dark hair dark eyes and an average skin tone were named black irish All right apart from that mostly red manes now red headed neanderthals can i make any more clear Right, Chris Niederthal, Blumenthal, Blumenthal, Rosenthal. Okay, the tribe are the only people who have Thal at the end of their names. Right, just like with that Doctor Who movie um, where they were against the Thals. Yeah, the Neanderthals. They are. That's where where the tribe get their their Western European Middle East red hair from the Neanderthals because they are descendants of. I don't know why they don't want you to know that. I I really don't know why. It's not a problem. I I think. Um, now, reboot the Matrix. The Irish slave trade. The forgotten white slaves. 
more like not forgotten but another one of those tribe you know fudging of history you know they don't want you to know that that they traded irish people in the first place the phoenician merchants they traded them as slaves right and yes they they ceded southern ireland not totally of course but um you know, even I'm a, a one quarter Irish and the rest of me is English, but you know, whatever that means, because we're all a little bit of a mix. I'm, I'm sure I'm Celtic and who knows? Who knows? I, I'm sure I've got other stuff in me. It's not my. There you go, Irish red hair. But is it Irish red hair? No. No, it's like it's like this article here, this, this thing that says. See it? Who brought redheadedness to the British Isles? Yeah. It's, it, it's telling you that the redheadedness is not from the British Isles. So reboot the matrix. You know, I'm not getting at you if you're 70% or 100% Irish and you think that I'm saying that everybody in Ireland is, is of Hebrew descent. No, I'm not saying that. Relax. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this very strong link. Okay, so here we go, we've got the Liverpool slave trade, and of course Liverpool this is the one, if you want to get to and from Ireland. Why aren't Irish Americans in an outrage? They were the first slaves and treated worse. Uh -huh. Is Jewish control over the slave trade a nation of Islam lie? Well, we know he's Boule, he's a mason anyway, but... That's not to say that Farrakh Khan isn't telling some truth about that. Hmm? A book that thick um, being a complete lie about Jewish control over the slave trade, come on. They've always been, they are the Phoenician merchants, so they, they trade everything. They trade people, you know, they trade, they, they trade uh, commodities, they trade, trade um, gold and silver, etc., etc. Everything now. And like I say, YouTube, I'm not getting at you, I'm not getting at your tribe, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of what you've been covering up. Uh, what about the Irish slaves? Indeed. Jews and the African slave trade, my Jewish learning. Mm-hmm. Right. Right, so we've got a bloom here. The White House, you see. Sydney Sheldon's the Phoenix. Well, they are the Phoenicians, Phoenician merchants. And something by Maya Shalev of Ireland a pigeon, a bird, and a boy. That's dodgy as hell. What else we got? Yeah, this is uh, uh, Irish Times on, uh, on Jewish people in Ireland. Um, this is interesting. I found this very interesting. Communism is Irish. Typical Irish red. And the nose? You think that's a Celtic nose? I don't think so. Two she bears by. Again, bears. This Maya Shalev with his Kabbalah tree of life there. Shalom, Ireland. Hello. And Roland Rivron, right? Rivlin. Shalom Island, right? The Yidiot's Guide or to Irish Jewish Family Ancestry. Stuart Rosenblatt. Like I say, I'm not coming from a racist angle. I'm just showing you that there's some kind of big history between the Phoenician merchants, the tribe, who are now mostly Zionists in Israel, Lysis Israel, and you know their trading and their movements, which included Southern Ireland for sure. The complete Jewish guide to Britain and Ireland. Jewish Ireland in the age of Joyce. Yes, James Joyce, like all writers, must have been Jewish. I'm not sure if there's anything else here. Oh, yeah. Dublin Hebrew con uh, Congregation. Again, Southern Ireland. 
right? So reboot the matrix. Uh, uh, there's mileage here. I'm not casting sways that oh, because you've got some Irish blood like I have, huh? um, that you are you know seeded by the tribe. No, no. You might be black Irish, like like partly me. I go. I guess I must be one quarter black Irish. Yeah, dark hair. And not of the tribe. The Irish Jewish Book uh, of Souls, seventeen hundred to two thousand and nineteen. Well, seventeen hundred. So there's there's three hundred years of it. Right. For a start, just for a start. Community in Ireland, World Jewish Congress. Okay. And another book called Jewish Ireland Social History. So, yeah, you know, I need to get to the bottom of it. But, um, you know, the red hair comes, is, is very rare in the human race. And it comes from the tribe. And it probably comes from that. Because that's their names, Rosenthal, ne Chris Niederthal. There was one in Animal House, wasn't there? There was a uh, Niederthal, Niederthal, something like that. <sighs> yeah, there was there was a character in, in the Animal House film called that. He was a Thal as well. So, yeah, all kinds of mileage there. And uh, like I say, I'm not getting at you, re Reboot the Matrix. No way, I'm not trying to, you know be um cast cast sort of huge casts <laughs> although they are they are they operate a caste system as um rebel rhyme says you know they are the top of the pyramid they are the bloodline the phoenician red-headed bloodline and they have casts going down all the way to the bottom which is definitely not them, the Goyim, Goyim, yeah, as they call us, okay.